Well, hey, how's it going? It's going great. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing great. Welcome back, Bobcat Nation. Here we are again, Cat Chat. Episode number three. So number three here in uh, Bobcat Country here in Peru, Nebraska at uh, 1208 7th Street. From our house to your house. 68421. Mom, please send money. Please. Anyways, what's new with you, Dan? How's your Easter? Oh, you know, it's pretty good. I uh, went home the weekend, spent some time with the family, went to church. It was a great time. How was yours? My Easter was it was a it was a good time. You know, I enjoyed family time, had great food. You know, it was just great to be back home for a while. But you know what? I miss my friends. You know, I I, miss I, my friends. I heard a rumor that you and the Easter Bunny had something in common this weekend. Oh, you know what? You're right, Dan. The Easter Bunny and I did have a lot in common actually, because I was the Easter Bunny. You know, and uh, some neighbor kids asked me. Well, the parents, of course, asked me to be be the Easter Bunny for the the neighborhood. And it, was, it was a fun time. You know, I got to entertain some kids, took some pictures. You know, I kind of felt like the president for a while. You know, it's good you don't do that for for your community. But anyways, let's talk about what we're here for. Okay. And on today's show, we have a few awards that some Bobcats have received. We're going to talk about the blue-white scrimmage. We're going to bring in our guest who you voted for, Mr. J.D. Faxon. We're going to talk about cat cribs. We're going to talk about our season finale. So first, we're going to talk about the awards we, some of us have received. And one award is the Doer Award which is awarded to one of the smartest men in the conference, and it yes. is none other than yours truly, Andrew Kahn. Andrew Kahn, he, is, he's, he's a wide receiver. He's a wide receiver for the Cats, and he, uh, you know, he does a lot on campus. I think he's an ambassador. He goes to about every event. And, you know, if you get an award, you're really smart. We all know yeah. he's a genius. You know, the man, the man is smart, and, you know, he has to contribute on the field as well, and Lord knows he does contribute. He's a great cat on and off the field. And, you know, he's, he sets a great example of what freshmen should be. Mm-hmm. Oh, you it's my turn, isn't it? Is this my turn? Year? Oh, shoot, okay. Okay, uh, next we have Will Jackson. He's also uh, on the football team. He's a linebacker. He is a uh, representative for Peru State College as a student trustee member, and he represents Peru for the Nebraska State College system. And, and you know, for that, basically have to be a be what Andrew is. And, uh, you know, he, has, he was very involved. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's just a great... Great example for what a what a Bobcat football player should be as well. And you know, someday Will Jackson's going to be a president. He will be the president. Who knows when? Could be sooner than later, folks. So don't forget when you're filling out that ballot, Will Jackson. Will Jackson. R. Circle it in, folks. That's right. him. Let's talk about the uh, blue-white scrimmage we had, and uh, it was on Saturday, April 16th. And the first thing that happened was uh, our captains were introduced for next year. On the offensive side of the ball, we had Matt Carroll from Dorchester, Cole Gatula from Franklin. Quentin Edelman from Sabetha, and on the defensive side of the ball, we had Jake Mertens, Hastings, Troy, Nelson, Valentine, and our own Wade Howerson from Ravenna. How's it feel to be voted by your teammates to be a captain? You know, as a second-generation Bobcat, you know, it feels great to be named a captain, and, um, you know, I just thank all my my teammates. You know, it's truly an honor, and and I I hope to represent you guys guys well. So, uh... In your opinion, how do you think the defense looked at Saturday's scrimmage? In the defense, I think, you know, as, as a whole, we improved a lot. You know, it's hard to gauge how we'll be as, as a unit totally. But you know what? We improved more than anything, you know, and that's that's what it takes. That's the first step in everything. But, you know, we, we played pretty fast. We played physical. And, you know, technique-wise, we, we got a lot better over the spring. And it was great to get out there and finally hit live, you know, and that's, that's something we didn't get to do a lot during practice, you know, and, and it felt great. It felt great to be out there and, and, and hitting. That's pretty much how the offense felt. We improved uh, mightily from where we have been. But, you know, with every spring game, we're going to get a few minor setbacks, but the things we can improve on. Uh, at that game, the during the, like, uh, halftime part, I saw we had some recruits there. And, you know, it's, it's nice to see that we had about 10 to 15 local guys there supporting yeah. the Bobcats because they're coming here next year. You know, it's, it's great to see the local kids come out. And it's also, you know, great to uh, – Great to see that Coach Clark is, you know, he's going nationwide with the recruits. You know, I mean, he got guys from coast to coast, uh, literally coast to coast. You know, we got we're bringing in a lot of Florida kids. You know, we're bringing in Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa kids as well. You know, like always. But you know, I think in talking with Coach Clark, he wants to bring in a lot of speed and athleticism. And you know, watching film with these these guys, we're bringing in a lot of speed. You know, things are things are going to change around here, and you know, we have to do that going into the new conference. We really do. Well, enough of that. Let's get to the fun of the program. Ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing you the person you voted for to be sitting in this seat, Mr. J.D. Faxon. Come on in, J.D. Come on in. How's it going? How's it going, J.D.? Welcome in here. Welcome in here. Take a seat. Take a seat. 
You know, ladies and gentlemen, you voted him here. He's finally here. Uh, I just want to know. I know stuff about you, but maybe Bobcat Nation doesn't. So tell us a little, little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from small town Odell, Nebraska, just south of Beatrice. And, you know, just a small town boy. You know, country, just doing my thing. Okay, that's great. Uh, what, what position do you play for the Bobcats? Oh, uh, wide receiver with Andrew Kahn, of course. That's yeah. great. That's great. You know, Andy. Andy's a great, Andy's great, a great dude. Guy. The Doer Award winner. So we have a we have a new game for you. It's called Rapid Fire. And uh, basically, what happens is Wade's going to ask you a series of questions. You'll have thirty seconds to answer. See the first thing that comes to your mind. All right. All right, Danny. You you're timing, right? Yeah. You got your thirty seconds. Yeah. Give me a second here. Oh man. We, we always got to wait on Dan. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's an offensive thing. Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought it was you who was doing that. I know, Coach. It's, it's yeah. just an O-show kind of thing. If it was up yeah. to the dark side, we'd, we'd have it done. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. When I say go, go. Ready? Go. All right. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Favorite Gatorade flavor? No, red. Facebook or Twitter? Facebook. Favorite internet website? Uh, sports center. Favorite item at the Peru State College cafeteria? Forks. Mmm. Forks. <laughs> Vacation spot? Odell, Nebraska. Favorite candy? Uh, Tootsie Roll. Favorite yeah, non- that's it. Oh, I believe he got eight, which here's, is pretty good. Here's pretty a question good. for you, off the record. Um, who do you feel like is your, uh, besides yourself, of course, who is one of the best wide receivers to hang around? You know, out of the guys on the team, you know, we got three seniors, two are captains, of course, and that's Quinn Edelman and Cole Gatula, mm. and then Andrew Kahn, you know, they're all three great guys, and they lead me in the right direction to be a better receiver. Good, you know, it's, it's you can't team. learn from uh, three better receivers, that's for sure. That is for sure. Well, um, you know, thanks for being with us, and one last thing from you, do you have anything to say out there to your fans? Hey, thank you for putting it on the show. It's a dream come true, I guess. And shout out to my boys, Double Seven, Double Five. You guys are great cats. All right, yeah. thanks a lot. Thank you for doing the show. show. Come on, come on by whenever. Yep. Oh. You know, uh, you know, it's it's great to have have kids like JD here, and uh, you know, especially voted on by the fans. I'm um, going to talk a little bit about what what uh, we're going to be seeing here in the future. We have Cat Cribs coming up tomorrow. I'll be filming that at the uh, World Renowned Deck House. Deck House. And uh, that's that's our neighbors, and that's going to be shot here in a, in a, actually a couple hours. Well, it'll be on the internet, YouTube, uh, coming up pretty soon here. Let's talk about next week's season finale. We're gonna have a lot of people on. We're gonna be thanking a lot of people for all they've done here, and we're gonna have some fun next week. So pay, keep up, all right? And you know what, fans? I'm sorry, but we're not gonna have a vote because we're gonna have multiple guests next week. You know, and, it, and it's gonna be great. We're gonna. We're just gonna have a little fun with it, you know. It's the last week and it's finals week. You know, we gotta have a little fun on finals week. I feel like we should uh, thank the people who have been helping us the most with these episodes. You're right. For one, I'd like to thank our music tech, Mr. Andrew Kahn. I know he's been mentioned a lot, but we really could not do this show without him. You know, not only is he a Doer Award winner, but he's a great sound technician. You know, okay. And then we also have our filmer here. We have our filmer. He's a uh, defensive beast. Number 43 from Grand Island, Nebraska, uh, Tyler Chamnius. Believe it or not, was voted on by most women to be on the guest, but J.D. beat him out. Well, fun fact, fun fact, those women do not attend Purdue State College, so... We, we, we had, had to cut him. We had to cut him. I guarantee you this, he will be on next week. He will be. You know what, our time is coming yeah. to an end. It was a great show. Thanks a lot for being with us. We want to thank all our fans out there. We want to thank our mothers. And want to thank uh, we just want to thank Bobcat Nation for coming out and supporting us. So uh, make sure make sure you keep checking us out on YouTube. And uh, thanks a lot, Dan. Thanks a lot, Wade. It was a great show. Great show. And thank you. Thank you.